Everybody. It is Tuesday afternoon here, so I decided that I would just start filming a day in the life vlog for you guys. It's been a while since I have recorded any kind of video besides my recent, you know, catch up video and a food haul. I hope you guys saw it. I'll link it in if you haven't. But it's a beautiful day here. I'm here with Jackson and AJ and we are just kind of hanging out today. AJ's already had his breakfast. He is laying down for his second nap of the day. I'm sorry if you can hear that we did her outside. Um, and I am just basically doing stuff around the house trying to get caught up. I have laundry to do. I have um, some other things I need to get done. Emails to answer. Contracts to look over dinner to make and Ryan and I are going and looking at houses again and it's been so hard trying to find a house just in the city where Jackson can still be with us and go to school without me having to drive him he has a address you know obviously he can use that's his dad's and you know he can stay at his dad's if he needs to but he really wants to stay with me and I need to find a house here in the city and it's just been so difficult. It'd be easier if I just could move across the bridge and, um, you know, find a house in Louisville, but I just don't think it's what's best. So even if that means I have to go into another apartment just because I can't find anything, then that's what I'll do. We're starting to talk about it, but Ryan just seems confident that a house will come along and um, we could obviously pay rent and stay here a bit longer if we need to, but we're not trying to do that. Um, we're, we're trying to be out by the 13th, so we'll see. Um, but it's just been so difficult. I still got so much to pack, and, you know, it's kind of weird packing and not knowing exactly where you're going. But I did it with Scott before, and sometimes it is what it is, and you're prepared whenever you do find the house or the apartment you're prepared just to get everything out and get moved and start over and I'm really excited about that I just would like it to happen already so that's pretty much what's going on for us around here Jackson starts school in just a couple days on Thursday along with Laura's kids Harper and Ashland and um, there's just so much going on so we've been doing the school shopping and the school supplies and just all the stuff we have to do and so lots going on but I thought I would bring you along for some of today and I hope you enjoy it so just keep watching so the other day I posted a video a food haul and in that haul I explained that I was probably gonna get a high chair off of Facebook and that's exactly what I've done um, now I just love Facebook I find it so cheap it's so easy and it's just like an online yard sale all the time and you know for stuff that I'm not going to use again this is my last baby I just don't see the sense in paying full price for every single thing we bought a lot of stuff new but we bought a couple things from Facebook and this even flow high chair is one of them it adjusts it's got six different levels it's got this pull out for mom or dad's drink and I love it AJ does really well in it this is washable and I love the animal print that was one of the reasons I picked this one out I did buy this nubby plate. I got it at Myers. It is um, like made for baby lead beating and um, it's got, you know, it's silicone and it's really nice. It suctions right to the high chair. I picked it up at my local Myers. So I also bought AJ some more sleepers. Now this one came from Kohl's. I love it. I love Mickey Mouse. And this is six to nine months. The reason I wanted some like Bitsy pajamas was because, you know, he doesn't sleep in a sleep sack anymore. 
and I really don't like him, you know, having chilly legs or feet. He kicks his little blanket off of him, and it's like just a muslin blanket, so it's not like really that warm anyway. So this helps keep him a little warm, even in summer, because the bed's right above his bed. Um, this one actually came from Myers. It's a Carter's, and um, I got it when I got that plate. This is the only one that's a little bit bigger. This one with the little footballs and helmets um, is 12 months, but I thought it could take us, you know, well into ball. It's got these little, um, you know, footsies that have a little grip on them, and that's 12 months. That came from Kohl's. Then he's already wore this one, but this one also came from Kohl's, and so did this one. And this, again, is just a little bitty pajama. So he's wore these two already. And we also got him this cute, like, little baseball onesie. He's wore this one time. And he looks really cute in it. I plan on taking him to a baseball game in it sometime soon. And it's even got some little pants. And then we wanted to get him some, some new little Nikes. I got one size too big, so I'm going to return these. But I'm going to get the exact same ones. I'll probably go return them tonight. Look how cute they are. These are a 5C. I think he needs more like a 4C. Um, so we'll see. These are a little big, but AJ has like kind of big feet. And so I was kind of unsure. I didn't have him with me when I was doing some of the shopping. And then I just got some more socks. And um, Jackson's done school shopping. Uh, Brittany's done her school shopping. And Mac Mackenzie's done hers. So now we're just getting a few things. AJ really don't need a ton of clothes. He's got lots and lots of clothes but he did need some little sleepers he was amazed at this little mickey symbol all night on his feet he tried to play with it a ton um but we got him what he needed this is what he needed and um i think mickey is so cute this is baby mickey so adorable okay while well, aj's napping i thought that i would share a couple of his favorite books because if he is out here, and his toys are out right now, but if he is out here, there's no way I'm going to be able to show you these. Now, this is one of my favorites, and I will talk about more of my favorites later in a different video. But I am going to go ahead and share this with you. Now, this is way advanced for AJ, but he loves it, and we still do it in ways that is fun for him. So, this is a flap book. There are so many flaps. I think it said there's over 100 flaps to explore. And so we'll go through the different planets sometimes. I won't talk about it. I won't read everything in, you know, completely sometimes. Sometimes I do. And we just go through this book. And AJ's getting really good with helping turn the pages. I'll share that with you sometime soon, maybe tonight. Um, we do a lot of reading. He loves his books. And I love the Earth. And we always talk about planet Earth and and pull open the pla the flaps and talk about the different layers and it's just it's just a great book. This one came from Cracker Barrel. It's ten ninety five. It goes all through the solar system. My little grandkids absolutely adore it, and everyone has done a great job at taking care of it. Um, but we have some of his little books in here, not all of them. He loves this one. This one came from Cracker Barrel as well. And so it has all the sounds of the animals on this side. Um, this one I love my daddy because it's really sweet. I love quite a few of these books. I love these. These just came from the Dollar Tree. But he loves them because they're pop-ups. And, you know, he's eight months old almost. In four days, he'll be eight months old, actually. And these books appeal to him. He loves them, and they're really sweet. So they were only a dollar a piece. We got Baby Jesus, Jonah and the Big Fish, Noah's Ark, and the story of Joseph. So read those quite a bit as well. And then we got these Disney baby books from my mom. She got these at Cracker Barrel when she came to um, visit me. Um... And she ate there. And they're just tiny little books. But they're so sweet. AJ really enjoys them. His slobber is not going to destroy them. Because he tries to put everything in his mouth. 
but this is a really nice collection and he loves these as well so you know we have quite a few books I think I've already shared this one on Instagram this is little blue truck springtime I do want to get the little blue truck leaves leads the way the little Christmas and the Halloween so maybe we'll get the Halloween next because that's the holiday that will be up soon and just lots of little books that he really does enjoy and we enjoy reading to him I do most of the reading but his daddy's read a couple books to him as well and Jackson's read to him and you know it's a great time to get him off the TV because AJ loves screen time we try to limit it we actually turn it off quite a bit and just sit here and hang out with him um, because it's, you know sometimes it's just a little bit overwhelming and seeing how much he enjoys the TV just kind of drives me crazy so um, I do have um, a few more books for him but we're going to start going to the library and getting even more and I'm just going to keep buying books which um, you know I find all over the place at really good prices so there's always something you know to pull out of here and read to him and he likes reading the same books so far um, and I do want to get him a little Bible as well so I've been using this mascara it's the voluminous lash paradise by L'Oreal it's got a decent brush on it I actually like the wand can you see it I'm sorry I don't want to get it on anything there is a hair on it of course um, but what I hate about this one is the formula the formula has just been so hard on my eyelashes it's hard to get off it is waterproof and a lot of times I like waterproof mascaras but this one has been so hard on my eyelashes um, that I was so happy yesterday I went and got this one this is an oldie but goodie I've used it on and off for years the L'Oreal voluminous carbon black this is not waterproof and really I don't need a waterproof mascara most of the time I mean I guess I could keep the lash paradise in case I go swimming or something but this one I'm sure will come off so much easier in the shower and won't be so hard on my lashes so I just kind of repurchased this yesterday and I'm already happy with it I think it went on great today I don't wear hold on I don't wear a ton of makeup whenever I am home and not working but I like it a little bit on just in case somebody comes over or in case I gotta run out and I don't feel so like bare-faced and I'm older than most of the youtubers that you probably are watching and I need the help and I just have been fighting this mascara so bad I mean it's just been awful and I don't know why I just didn't go get some new mascara sooner but I really gave this a run for its money and the formula is just too strong it just will not come off for me and I'm using coconut oil to remove my makeup so you would think it would come off but it's so hard to get off and this one is just lovely so I'm happy about that AJ is down for his last nap of the day before he has dinner and, um, you know, gets his bath and plays and hangs out with us. And um, I'm just kind of getting some stuff done around the house. I've got some more laundry to put away and just get things done. And I'm just trying to check everything off my to-do list. So I've gotten lots of questions about this little dryer and I just want you guys to know that I am still using it. It works great. I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever and I'm undecided depending on where we move if I'm just going to sell it along with the washer that's, you know, like a portable washer or and get a larger set or if I'm just going to continue to use it. I don't see the point um, in really getting something new. I would like to get the stand so the dryer is above the washer depending on where we move. But it's worked great. It's a magic chef. I know many of you guys are in apartments and probably are wanting to consider this. It does plug into a regular outlet and I love it. I'm thankful for it. It works great and I can fit quite a few clothes in there and it dries them perfectly. Mommy's boy. Is that mommy's baby over there? Hi. Hi. Did you? Hello, baby doll. Let's go. You want to see yourself? Can you see yourself? 
Say hi. Say hi. You're so cute, aren't you? You ready to get up? Let's get up. Let's go. Let's go play with toys. Say hello. He's trying to look at the TV and I got the camera in his face. So AJ is up from nap time and his little snack today is some um, bananas and strawberries and some of these little whole grain puffs and apple. This little plate works great. I'm sure you can hear him. And actually that's probably a little much on these. He won't need that many. There we go. That'd be about good. So he's got a nice little snack and I'm going to go give it to him. Are you ready for a snack? Let's get your big line. There you go. There you go. Oh, that's squealing. All right. Have fun making a mess. Enjoy, Bon Appetit. He's trying to get that slippery banana. He's got it. Yay! Not tasting so good. He still eats a lot of baby food, you guys. If I, if I did just baby led weaning, I don't think he would get full enough. I just don't. Is that yummy stuff? There you go. There you go. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. nom. So I think I'm going to have to get one of those rubber bibs, but we have been using a lot of stain remover. You know, he had strawberries and bananas at his little snack. And so all I do, because I don't do laundry every single day, I do it like every other day. I just go ahead and spray the stains. And by the way, my mom bought this bib. She bought a little pack of grandma bibs, of course. Um, and then I just fold it up and put it in the laundry and I wash it whenever, um, I do my, my next load. So, at least it's got the stain remover on it. I do that with his little outfits too. And if it's something that's really, you know, going to stain it, I'll go ahead and wash it that day. Hey everybody, so I am kind of on a quick little break. I don't want to take too many breaks during the day because it's so hard to get motivated to get back up after you just like really have been like sitting down relaxing. But I had a few minutes and I thought I would talk to you about October, some thoughts I had on um, doing Vlogtober. So Vlogtober, in case you don't know, but most of you already know, is a video every single day. And that's a lot. It's 31 videos in 31 days. And I really think that we're going to do it this year. I think it'll be fun documenting AJ through those months. I love October. I love November. Um, I really like when the leaves start changing and the temperatures start, you know, dropping a little bit. I just think it will be fun. And everything during that month would be in terms of a day in the life vlog. So if I want to share a food haul, it will be in a day in the life vlog. If I want to share um, my favorites, it will be in the setting of a day in the life vlog. So it mean, to me, that means I'll have to speed some of those videos up if I do them. And, you know, so the day in the life vlogs aren't like forever long. Some of them will be long. It's a lot of upload commitment. I feel like I'm I will be okay during that time. Even if I'm serving or um, bartending or something to that degree, I feel like, hey, I should probably be able to get up anywhere from a 10 to 30 to 40 minute video. And even if it's a smaller video, just dedicating um, time to do it. I have so many videos in the month of October that I've already been like, planning out and I have a long list of things that I'd like to share from recipes to hauls to 
things I want to do with AJ and um, I just think it will be fun so I hope you guys want to see that uh, I feel like you do let me know in the comments what you really think about me doing that in October I feel like right now I have enough time to really plan it out so I'm not just like duh what am I recording today I mean of course some videos would just be um, regular day in the life vlogs where I'm not sharing anything extra but sometimes you know obviously I want to share other videos and I can share those vlog style as well so that's something that's been on my mind and you know, I think taking a break for me was really, really good. I came away from everything realizing that no matter what, people are going to think what they want to think. Um, and it doesn't really matter to me because there's so many of you guys that really take the time to, to watch us, to follow along. I don't have the most glamorous life. I'm not one of those YouTubers that's going to get cleaned up to get in front of the camera every single day. It's not going to happen. I'm going to be myself. I'm in a NASA t-shirt today and leggings and I feel perfectly fine and I just don't feel like I need to really not be myself. I am a stay-at-home mom right now. I have a boyfriend. Many of you know about Ryan and know that we've had some difficult times in the past and the truth is is that we're working really hard just at loving our son, at being good providers for him and being good partners for each other and it's far from perfect but he is somebody that I love and I love that AJ loves him and I just want our family to grow and be healthy and happy and so you know Ryan is not somebody who's going to be on YouTube a lot you might see a little bit of him here or there or hear him say something but he's just not somebody who wants to be in front of the camera and I respect that. So, yeah, I'm going to go inside. AJ is in one of his little toys watching Sesame Street. He absolutely loves Sesame Street and Elmo. And it's just the cutest thing ever. I'll show you in just a second. Um, and he is growing. And I meant to film his update before this video. But he hasn't been feeling really well for a number of reasons. And I'm thinking about actually taking him into the pediatrician tonight, depending on what time Ryan gets back. Um, just because he's he's just not really acting 100% like himself. I think we got some teething issues going on. I think we may have an earache, but I'm not 100% sure. He's tugged on his right ear just a little bit. I'm just guessing really with that. And he's had some major constipation issues that I really want to talk about with the doctor. Um, and I'll discuss more about those in his update that's coming up. But I think I'll probably try to get him into the doctor before the update. And then I'll have, you know, his correct weight to tell you guys. Some of you guys say he's really big. The doctor says he's in his 36th percentile. Maybe that's changed. I'm sure it has. I don't know to what degree. But I definitely want um, a doctor to take a look at him and to help us figure a few things out. So um, besides that, he is a happy, healthy baby most of the time. He's gotten a little cranky and he's learned how to squeal here lately. So that's kind of been um, hard on the ears, but I don't know. Every little milestone seems so big to us. And I know that's the same for so many of you guys. He's totally brought a light to my life that I I honestly did not have. I mean my other kids are older and I feel like if I I felt like for so long that if I just could do it over again, I would change so many things about how I parented, about mistakes I made, about changes I wanted to to happen, you know, hindsight is unbelievable and I feel like I've got a new lease on life with him and I'm just like taking in every single second that I can and it just means so much to me and I know the rest of the family feels the same Jackson is extremely close to him which is another reason I don't want to move out of the city force Jackson to be at his dad's or make myself have to drive a really I don't know about a really far distance but 20-30 minutes one way 
you know, there and back. Plus, try to work in the evenings. That could prove to be a little bit difficult. So, I just feel so blessed. And I might not have the most glamorous life, as you guys well know. But I feel happy. And I feel safe. I feel secure. I mean, I'm nervous about moving and all of that. But I feel like, you know, we have a really good life and a beautiful family. And that's all I can really ask for. So... All right, break is over. Time to get inside and get some more stuff done and hang out with my baby. Brother Jackson. Hi. Hi. Are you hiding your brother's face? Are you hiding your brother's face? I know. I know. Yeah. Yeah, your big brother got you. Your big brother got you. Dance, 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 dance. Dance, 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 dance. Hi. Make the monkey move. Make the monkey move. Oh, good job. Good job, AJ. Good morning, baby. Good job. Hi. Oh, get up there. Come on. I love you. Hi, dirty face. You got a dirty face. Hi. Come on. Are you making a monkey move? An elephant? Move that monkey. Move that monkey. Good job. Good job. Ooh. Get up on your belly. Get up. There you go. Come on, raise up. Come on. There you go. There you go. You're almost there. You're almost there. You figured out. Mwah. You getting there, turtle? Huh? There you go. There you go. Get going. Move it. Move it. One knee in front of the other. You're almost there. You're almost going to be able to crawl with mine. Come on. Oh my goodness, good job. Let's go. Come on, move those arms. Come on. Bye-bye. Come on. No, we got to raise up. Not going to do the army crawl. He's coming to that camera. Oh. Oh, who is that? Is that? Is that AJ? Yes, that is AJ. <laughs> Wee. Hi. Hi. Let's go, AJ. Up, 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 up. Mwah. 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 Hi. Bobby Bob. Bubbity bump. 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 
Puppity poop! What? What was that? Wee! Hi! You look so big up there! You look so big! Dance, dance, dance! Dance, dance, dance! I love you. I love you. I love you. Hey, everybody. So, it's been a couple of days actually since I recorded that other footage, and we had some big changes. And you're gonna hear the baby, Ryan and the baby are in the living room, and there's not that many places for me to record right now. There are boxes literally everywhere. And it's not like, you know, when I had a bigger house and I could stick all the boxes like in the dining room that we weren't using. Here, it's a small apartment, which means there's boxes everywhere. And um, I had put up on Instagram, and if you don't follow me, it's just K Jaggers on Instagram. And I think you can find me under Keisha Jaggers as well. But I posted that we had gotten an apartment and it was um, nicer than this one. It was much nicer. But we really didn't want to pay that much for an apartment instead of a house so we we pulled out of that apartment deal and we've been kind of in limbo and it just has seemed a little bit scary because it's been hard to find the houses around here um, but thankfully we found one and we found a three-bedroom house in a very nice neighborhood um, for the same price that we was going to pay for that apartment, you know, with a bunch of other people. And so, um, I signed the lease with Ryan tonight, and we're going to take Jackson over because he hasn't seen it yet. Now, maybe we'll try to record a little bit while I'm in there, um, and just kind of show you the house while it's empty because I know so many of you guys like that. But I just felt like I didn't really have a good answer for you guys on what's going on where are we moving and blah 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 that I just stopped recording for a couple days but we are very happy and we feel very relieved we move in just a few days so I've got to continue packing and get us up out of here so that's about it I will try to record tonight I just wanted to kind of touch base with you guys so I know it's the middle of the summer but I really wanted some potato soup so that's what I'm working on um, the kitchen is like almost empty, so I didn't video the house. Um, I probably will in a couple of days, maybe, but I didn't video it. Everything is signed. I'm so happy. I'm making potato soup for dinner, so there's just some potatoes in here and some onions. Bacon's over here, and um, AJ is in bed. So, yeah, I'll jump in front of the camera in just a second and say hi to you once I get this done. So here is my dinner. I don't eat cheese usually in my potato soup. The guys do, so Ryan and Jackson will fix themselves bowls. I'm not that hungry, so this is enough for me. Just a cup of soup, and yeah, I'm so, like, relieved. You guys have no idea. I'm just so thankful, and I feel great tonight, except I'm really tired, and I still have a lot of stuff to do, and Jackson has school tomorrow, and... Lots of stuff, but I'll talk to you more about that in a different vlog. Hey everybody, so I just got done eating. I wanted to say thank you for watching this vlog. I am excited about the new house. I'm so thankful and I feel so blessed. Ryan felt the same way. It's been so hard trying to find a house here. Like, you know, the market is really big for selling, but right now we're just renting and we needed the right house in the right area with the right amount of bedrooms for the right price and we were blessed today so it's very exciting and I'll tell you more about that in a different day in the life vlog so definitely subscribe to my channel if you're new here and hit that notification bell and you will know when I put new videos up I haven't had much of a schedule and um, I'm just going to do better. I don't have a schedule promised. I don't put videos up this day, that day, or any of that right now. I used to do that, and I have a ton of videos, and you can always go back through my playlist or check out my blog and find recipes and 
um, favorites and updates on AJ and all kinds of stuff. And speaking of updates, I'll get an update on AJ done really, really soon. But this is the last few days in my apartment. And I will show you kind of the mess we're dealing with right now. I'm not proud of it, but I'll show you real quick. Hold on. So there's the dining room, boxes, laundry, just a mess. There are boxes and over here, there are boxes over here and baby stuff and it's just packed and it's like this all the way through the apartment. It doesn't look normal, it's not going to feel normal, it's just hard and um, it's a mess you guys, it just is. And it's going to take a little while to get the rest of the house packed up and to get us moved. So I'm just like super excited. I think it will be a good place for us to live. AJ will have his own room. I'm thinking about putting my desk in there with AJ, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I don't have a ton of furniture for AJ's room, but we do need to get some more you know pieces and different things so maybe now that he'll be in his own room we can do that it's just it's got a beautiful porch on it and I'm so excited about that especially for the cats um, and a big backyard and Jackson really wants to practice soccer and you know we want to be able to have cookouts and all that for our family and friends so I think we're just going to really focus on doing our best to to make it a happy home for our children and for ourselves and I'm gonna get back to work really soon um, and I think all will be well so I hope you've enjoyed this vlog give me a thumbs up if you did subscribe like I said earlier and I will see you guys soon bye